Oh guys, we're out in the kitchen and they already have me to take a shot. Gastronomy, meaning our food is actually prepared with modern cooking techniques. All right, so I'm going to be an experimental dining, meaning we've got a six course set menu. Every course comes with a different pairing, so it's a different wine pairing for your experience. So we pair with wine cocktails, beer, mocktails, even water. The sky is the limit. In a few moments, the chefs are going to start to put some uh, desserts. They'll be plating, and at the same time, the sailors will be plating. That's the engine room. That's the half of the restaurant. That's our mixology. Whenever they are drinking that, they are playing with drinks. So that's our lady at Mishka. She's a five-star Michelin uh, mixologist component. Nice. All the things she does, she does with love. We've got the wine, the grapes are cooking in there. We've got the beer The grapes? Yeah, the grapes are cooking. Okay. <laughs> they are cooking for our experience. Okay. That's Carlo from Brazil, from Sao Paulo. Hello. Uh, <laughs> the same concept is coming in the so they are also playing the uh, the sour Christmas, the mushroom. So it's actually uh, four kinds of mushroom in there. There's onion, garlic, uh, gelatin, mushroom jelly, and then it's like a, it's like a mousse. Okay. It's perfect, my favorite. I'm gonna show you your table now. Okay. Two plates. Excuse me. Thank you. So welcome. Yeah, my name is Craig, I'm from Johannesburg. Okay. One of the uh, managers in Chess Kitchen. So welcome, enjoy, be merry, have fun. All right guys, we are at Chess Kitchen. This is like an experimental type restaurant. So we're gonna see if we like the dishes. For the first five glasses, dessert wine will only measure two because it's a pork wine, yeah? Okay, that's there right. you go. What is called again? It's called uh, bergamot aperitif. It comes with bergamot liquor, dry vermouth. They top it with soda, garnishing with a rosemary. Okay. It's very light but refreshing. Okay. First glass of wine is from California. It is called La Crema Monterey Pinot Gris. Both of your drinks will help you lessen. You're welcome. It will help you lessen the intense flavor of your first dish, which is okay. mushroom. So do I need to wait till I get my first dish? You can have a sip, but just don't finish. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay.
side of your over easy yolk. The yolk may be runny, but they can feed the one in a smoke of an olive oil for an hour. So it is cooked and deep. And okay. the best way to eat this, break the yolk, mix it with the rest of the ingredients, and spread it out again with your Guinness beer bread. And the white smoke that you just inhaled, I don't know if you did, <laughs> It's from Apple Wood Chip, and oh. I'll be smelling until 11 p.m. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Listen, I don't like peas, Kenny. So the peas is, I Ooh, think, the, the most. Egg, yo. She said mixed in. You got caviar. Fish yeah, it does have caviar. I'm going to taste my caviar first. She said spread it on the bread. I'm gonna eat it first. Alright, y'all, so this is sturgeon caviar. 
I'm not gonna say what it tastes like. <laughs> if I know what I think you're thinking, what I'm yes. thinking, I'm thinking it is. Yes. <laughs> I usually always have my head. I like mine well done. Well done, everything. Yes. So the fact that these eggs are ready, I'm gonna do it. But I won't do it again. This it right here. I'm gonna do it for the sake of. I'm gonna try it because that's what we're here to do. I'm only gonna. I'm gonna. Okay, yeah. All right, guys. So I broke the egg. I mixed it together, and now I'm putting it right on. Oh Lord, I'm busting the caviar. Okay. Look, I got two peas. Y'all hate peas. So I got two. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Tastes like grass. <laughs> tastes like peas. And I do. <laughs> I do truly understand. Okay. I like peas, though. I'm a pea eater. I, I hate peas. Oh, you hate? I but hate you had a bite, a couple of bites, I believe. I had, I had one bite. Uh -huh. <laughs> we I are had here. two peas total. <laughs> I got some peas. We are not, as I mentioned, as I keep on saying this to the sailors, we are not expecting each and every sailors to finish all the dishes, but it, at least to give it a try. And you yes, just give it a shot. I tried. I'm going to try this green stuff. <laughs> what did you say that was kale, kale puree? Yes, absolutely. It's a no for me, dog. Oh, let me show you. This is what it looks like. Hell no. To the no, no, no. Strangely, I don't hate it. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't pick it to buy, it, but. Oh, and this is, um, oh, Guinness, Guinness beer bread. Take it to the head. Don't think about it, be about it, don't be scared of it. Take it to the head. Hey, yeah. The more glasses of wine they bring, the more I'm gonna sing. Just know that, okay? Wine <laughs> is from South Africa. It is called Terre Brulee. The same profile with Chardonnay. Okay. It will help you lessen the oceanic flavor of your, sorry, of your third dish, which is the scallops. Okay. Ginger sour, the very best is a Plymouth gin, ginger juice, and you the crystallized ginger in a skin. It's okay. a bit spicy, but soothing in your throat. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so listen, I only ate Can I take a picture of your drink? Tell me if it's good. Cause I don't like Chardonnay. Dry. Yeah, it's dry as hell. I don't like Chardonnay. It's, I mean, it's okay. It's just not. Wine is, if it ain't Moscato, I'm not a big fan of it. Okay, so listen. I saw this thing, like, this lady was talking about how black people love Moscato. And, cause like, really, I don't really hear right people talking about Moscato like that. But she said it's because of our palate, like the way that we season our food and stuff like that makes us, makes Moscato more craveable to us. You tell them that that was a ginger shot. Listen, this right here, if y'all have ever had those ginger shots, like I get mine at Trader Joe's, it's like has ginger and cayenne and whatever in it. This is exactly what this tastes like. It tastes like a ginger shot. So if you want to be, um, have your immune system right, get you one now. Now this is something from South Africa, I don't know. <laughs> she said it's similar to Chardonnay. If y'all have watched my YouTube channel, you know that I do not like Chardonnay, but I'm going to drink this because I pay my money for it. <laughs> Period. But I am... I have to wait and get my food so I can taste it with my food so I know whatever. The food's supposed to bring out the flavors of the that's supposed to bring out the flavor of the food. Child, I don't know how this works. I ain't no chef. 
Just watch. Where may he go? Uh, she's, uh... Helping somebody else. Uh, Zozo? The bar, yes. Okay. Zozo. All the way from South Africa. Oh, okay. We have a friend who is from South Africa. His name is Hannes. Is he here? No, child. Oh. <laughs> okay. he, I mean, he ain't that good of a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're having uh, the third course of the evening. Alright, which is our scallops. So they are sea pencil diver scallops. They are battered, okay. Right at the base of the plate, we're having a sea lettuce and some seaweed. And then we top it up with some serrano ham and this serrano broth infused with chicken stock, just to add a little bit more flavor to it, okay? Okay. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Kenny, we lied. We got four more courses. Oh my gosh. Because this was this, and then we still got the beef, blue cheese, Come and on, chocolate. Baby. Don't you get stuck in love? Oh baby, that wine, oh baby, that wine is kicking in. Hell. So, okay, I don't know if you do this, but I do this. If somebody says a word and then you sing a song that has that word in it, I do that all the time. Like, cause you said stuck, cause your thing was your I'm stuck. stuck. <laughs> you said and so now that song. song is in my head. What song? Don't you get stuck in love oh. <laughs> with me? All right, this is Calvin. The best thing ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Child, I ain't even trying my food. I'm over here just taking pictures of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, sis. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't back yet. Man, that was fun. I think we're not. We is not bad. We on our way to dinner. Why would you do that? Huh? Y'all gotta watch TikTok in order to know what I'm talking about. But Ashley knows. <laughs> Which one is that? When they say, why would you do that? Scallop. Yeah. Well. That's I what they say. You know what? I think I have seen, yeah. I know what you're talking about, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm not a fan of these scallops. It does taste like the sea. Scallops, some kind of broth, seaweed, sea lettuce, sea lettuce. Okay? No, thank you. It's okay. It tastes like the sea. It tastes like we just went and stuck our mouth out in that ocean. Yeah, it tastes like the sea. Well, Marcus is eating my seaweed. You want my scallops too? This is supposed to complement the fishiness of the scallop. I can't, I don't, let me try another piece. Some sizzling, y'all. That made it taste even more fishy. I'm trying it with the wine. With the wine. I don't like that. Did you eat that ginger? You ate it? You ate the ginger? Yeah, or not less butter? I mean, you can, but it wasn't spicy. I mean, I'm, you know what I mean. Ginger has a kick to it. it was, that was sweet. Okay. Long and straightforward, cacao, Holy Verde. It comes with Sagamurai, which is the whiskey, a little bit of Campari for the color, sweet and dry vermouth together with some cacao bitters. Okay. Full bodied red wine from Argentina. Okay. It is called Tahuan Malbec 2019. Okay. Here. Yeah. Hi, Clay. That's you dry. Like it. This is very dry. But I can I will get down with this. Now, I'm sure my pocket will not get down with this. So I will get the Aldi version. I'm gonna try this now. Marcus said I'm not gonna like it. I can already tell I'm not because I can smell it. Let me tell you what she's gonna say. It tastes like rope too. It tastes like raid. Mm -mm. It tastes like raid. I don't, I don't, 
Right. I know what way it tastes like. I, just, I know how it smells. I know how it smells. Well, I ain't gonna lie to Stein. I don't have a cupcake. Y'all, that, okay, you know what this tastes like? This, the white part of the orange. All right, guys, we are about to get our beef and venison course. So, Ashley and I got the beef. Marcus and Kenny got the venison and the beef. Sorry. Your meat is now bagged on a small beetroot puree. Beetroot? Uh huh. With a little bit of acidity through pickled blueberries on the side. It's a good combination to have a slice of meat together with the berries. I'll be putting a dark chocolate on top. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And on your side, you have a potato pavé, thinly sliced potatoes layered. For each layer, literally, they've been brushing butter and garlic, baked and pan fried. It. Garnishing with a homemade bacon powder with a freshly cut chives. Bon appetit. Oh, that potato is good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's meat is uh, Tender. 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 It's going down. I'm yelling timber. We're going to try it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is what it looks like. It's good. That's going to read. That's a beat. So she put a piece of dark chocolate on top of our steak or piece of beef, whatever. And then she melted the chocolate with the au jus. And strangely, it tastes good. With that beef? Okay, so this is the venison. I'm going to let you taste it first. I'm eating eat beef right now. It's good. This is really, really good. And there's blueberries. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're gonna try the finish. Alright. The venison is tougher. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I know I found some. Mm -hmm. It's um, the beef is very tender. The Better venison is a it's a tougher yeah. piece of meat. But it is cooked all the way through. Yeah, it is. It's the uh, venison is cooked more well done than the beef. What is this? That's not blue cheese. Mm-mm, because it's not tangy like feta. We have to ask for it to come over here. It came with this potato. I don't know, some flaky potato thing. I don't know what this is on top. It melts in your mouth. The chocolate is not bad on here. That was kind of iffy. I was like, chocolate, I don't know. It's bad. Yeah. This is probably my favorite course. Go potato over here, too. Yeah. This beef is the best. Try it. 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 Try Made okay. from bacon fat and tapioca maltodextrin, a polysaccharide to create a unique kind of garnish. Okay. You know what this reminds you of? This beef? Liver? Yeah. It got like a liver taste. Yeah. 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 Taste, that, taste the white stuff without the potato. It could not be cocaine. <laughs> it it's like right, melts right. on your tongue. It does. It feels out of the way on the tongue. I can't say. 
Better than mouth, not even here. <laughs> and it tastes like bacon. <laughs> Alright, so this is bacon powder. Bacon dust. Bacon something. It's made with bacon and malpredextrin. Malpredextrin. Child, I don't know. I had several glasses of wine. It's bacon powder. Okay. <laughs> Not baking powder, bacon. It's crazy how this goes together. It is. Like it's so weird because you wouldn't think like dark chocolate and beef go together, but they really do. Oh yeah, and then there's the red stuff on the plate was like a beef, some kind of beef puree, and blueberries. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I want my blue cheese. Okay. Blue sherry and some elderflower tonic water. Medium body red wine from California. Coastal vines Pinot Noir 2017. Thank you. Apple flower. Cheers. Oh, hold on. Let me. That's decent. Let me do it in the camera so I can see. Y'all see me swirling my line. So it's okay. Okay. It's a, okay, let me take that back. It's not. This is a peanut oil I'm, I'm ready. I'm hungry. Try this. It's apple. Yes, I am. I don't mind it. I don't mind that tastes yeah, like ginger ale with crown apple. <laughs> this is that one. <laughs> Blue cheese semifredo or semi frozen. It comes with honey roasted pecans, Asian pears, and citrus oil. A bit denser than a mousse, but lesser than an ice cream. This will serve as a palate cleanser. And the best way to eat this is for you to have a portion of a cheese with some pecans or a portion of a cheese with some pears. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm not a blue cheese person. I am. I love these. So, I don't you need that. I like blue cheese too, but baby, what the? So this is pretty much gonna be like blue cheese ice cream. Blue cheese ice cream? Yes, I think it's. I think it's frozen. Yeah, it's not. It's not ice cream, but it's more than like a cup. I would say. Oh dang! This is what it looks like, y'all. Got the walnut on there. That's not a walnut. What is this? Pecan. Pecan. It's sweet. Okay, y'all. It's not. It's not blue cheesy. It's not. This tastes like an ice cream that's not super sweet. I don't know. This is Asian pear. Pear, pear. The pear good. Chocolate. It's a no for me, y'all. Y'all, this ain't bad. The pecans are so good. They're candy pecans. All right, I'm gonna try all three together. I really thought it was gonna be like I mean, like blue cheese. cheese. It's really not. Like, if they didn't tell you this is blue cheese, you wouldn't know by tasting this. No, you can taste it. I can't taste it. I can taste the blue cheese, but it's not as strong. Yeah, it's not strong like blue cheese is known for. But you would think it has a hint of blue cheese. But it tastes like a blue cheese ice cream. Blue cheese ice cream from Portugal, Nari Old Fashion. It comes with Buffalo Chase Whiskey, Almond Bissarone Liquor, and some chocolate bitters, as well as a cinnamon steak inside. Thank you. You're welcome. Apple pie moon. That's good. It is. That is a sweet old fashioned. Okay, and I make old fashioned. And I'm not an old fashioned person. Yes, well, they've been using gorgonzola, mix it up with some heavy cream, gelatin, honey, and egg yolk. Okay. 
because it, 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 you can taste the blue cheese, but it's not really strong. Yeah, it's not strong. And the pecans is really good, too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So now your follow-up has been cut. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ready for dessert? The kid is like, please stop. I must say, the only thing, I didn't like the scallops, but I don't like scallops like that anyway. The scallops pretty good. Though. Yeah. I'm more, you need to find my scallops, you need to find my clams if you want me to eat them. Uh, I don't do oysters at all. But oh, the stuff Ashley around Ashley and it. I eat oysters. Yeah. I, I got kidney, I got kidney on them oysters. But you know, when we, remember when we, cause you know I love um, Boathouse. Baby, give me some Rockefeller oysters. Ending your journey is a chocolate flamingo. A small sponge cake. There is a layer inside with vanilla kamut, chocolate mousse, and a little bit of a strawberry jam, coated with chocolate glaze and dusted some cacao powder. Underneath, there is a cookie called coconut sablé. Sweet, rich, and creamy. That's why they tried to balance it, but I don't know if they succeeded mm. by putting some garnish, almond micro vanilla sponge cake, strawberry coli, and some strawberry puree shaped as a caviar. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, it's soft. Mm. It's, it's soft like jello. I don't like mushy stuff. This is pudding, is what this is. Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not a chocolate guy. I'm not too much. Kenny and I need to. See, I like chocolate, chocolate, but I don't like mushy just, stuff. What do you think? Oh, wait a minute. It's just like jello. So, this is what it looks so like. Oh, I can already feel my insides clenching up. I can't eat this stuff right there. Nope. But this is good. It's not terrible, but would I eat this whole thing? Absolutely not. Yeah, I don't know what this is. That's my I'm saying. It's like, I don't know. What is that, y'all? Bread. It's bread? That was the worst. Like some uh, type of cake or something. What they got this stuff? Oh, that's like angel food cake. Yeah. It's like the inside of an angel food cake. Now, there's these. This is the worst course. There's these boba balls. Uh, something looking things on here. She said it was, it was, um. Uh, it was supposed to be in the shape of caviar, the jelly. I'll be good. Nope, nope, nope. It's like a wet Twizzler. It's a no for me, dog. It's a double no for me, dog. Thank you. This is port wine, which means it's high in alcohol. It's better than Taylor Port, though, I tell you that much. So, for me, the beef course was the best. And then the second would be the mushroom. Um, the third for me would have been the seafood. The fourth was the one before this, the blue cheese thing. This is this is the worst. So mine is different. So mine is the beef, the mushroom, the blue cheese. This then the scallops, because I didn't like those scallops. I don't know if it was because it was wet or what. This it was wet because she poured juice. I don't know. Yeah, that's my first time ever having a scallop, and it wasn't. It didn't give my spirit what it needed. Well, that's nice too. Beef course, rank number one for me. The mushroom, which was the first course. The first you used to. The scallop with the seafood and uh, whatever. Oh, so let me read off the menu to you guys. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Alright, so the first course is mushroom. Okay, so that's how the main ingredients go. Mushroom, egg, scallops, then venison or beef, but they will give you both if you ask for it. 
blue cheese chocolate. So we forgot about the egg. Yeah, so let me do that. Egg one. is gonna be last for me because I do not like peas and it tastes like grass. So for me, it's the beef, the mushroom, uh, the scallops, the blue cheese, the egg, and chocolate is last. Mm -hmm. So you like those crunchy peas and I eat peas. I hate, like peas. Y'all I hate peas. peas. Listen, I sit and pick all the peas out of my fried rice and my mama told me that's why my oldest child was crazy because I wasn't getting my nutrients because I was eating my peas. Y'all hate peas. Peas and green beans, they can go to hell. In a hand basket. Damn them the hell now. Like good, right? Okay. Bananas, peas, green beans can all go extinct. Jesus can <laughs> remove them from the earth because they nasty. She's had a few things. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> All right, guys, we are done with the test kitchen and it was interesting. Get the, get the drinks. The drinks? Get the okay. drinks. Oh, I got the wine. She has a cocktail. She, what do you think is better? Cocktails. All right. Yes, wine. Wine. She's up, Sarah. Okay, so you do the wine and you do the cocktails. That way you feel better. Okay. He doesn't like wine, so he didn't drink any wine. Is it right in red or just? All right, guys. So. We have $125 in onboard credit. What's going on with my hair? Okay, there we go. So we have $125 in onboard credit that we have to spend by tomorrow morning. We had $150, but somebody had to go to the casino and lose our money. So now we have 125 that I have to spend. So I guess I'm gonna get these cheer in a hat. And then I'm gonna go to Mac and get me some lip gloss. Cause back in the day when Mac was super popular, your girl couldn't afford it. So now I'm gonna get some lip gloss. And then I don't know what else. All right, we'll be back. Alright guys, we are about to get off the ship. I'm so sad. It's Easter and I look like Easter egg. That's all I have to say. We got up this morning. We semi had breakfast. I didn't really because my breakfast wasn't that good. But Marcus had a little bit of breakfast. I had some coffee. And then we're getting ready to get off the ship. We have all of our luggage packed up and we are ready to go.